We should start barking. I'm like, just going to do Stephen Blum in my normal life all the time now. What's Stephen Blum? The Spike Spiegel voice. Oh. This voice right here. Did we start Jet. the podcast? Yes, the podcast has started. We'll take all it right. away. Hey, welcome back to Fear Yeah, that's sexy. I'm Spike Spiegel. Mm-mm-mm. And I'm Austin Show. And this is Hassan Piker and Cutie Cinderella. And we're back for another fabulous episode on this beautiful Monday morning. Yeah. Which is when you're listening to this. That's right. That's right. Sp- no, I can't do it. I can't do it yet. Yeah, that was- <laughs> that, that's right, Spike. Hey, Spike. Uh, is that getting better? I don't know. No, it's not getting better. Close okay. Well, whatever. I got a lot of grievances. Okay. <laughs> First and foremost, <laughs> let's just let's just get a bunch of stuff out of the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just get a bunch of stuff out of the way. Oh, Austin God, so- Show. Shit. Good luck. God Austin. Show. He literally walked in and said, I'm gonna fry you like a show. I didn't even do? Fry I have, was take a bath. I haven't even talked to him. I have an entire like I have a library of grievances. It yeah, is the library those? of Alexandria. What did I at this do point. wrong? I've, I've number been, one. I've been, I've been, number one. one. Number one. Uh, you one. need to start pulling your goddamn weight on this podcast. You said you were gonna fucking grow your beard out. You sent me sexy fucking videos of yourself in bed yep. flexing your traps. He did this. with your fucking no. beard. No, they just they just look like that. I wasn't flexing. I don't care. <laughs> you literally are a coward, a liar, and mm. a son of a bitch. Yep. You did not want to do this for the fear and audience. I wanted to do it, but the problem is, is I was feeling myself in the beard, and then it hit a point in which I wasn't feeling myself anymore. And it was actually the night Dude, before you I texted us so on. Good, you looked so good. Well, you know what? You didn't gas me up enough that night that I was insecure. I knew it too. I texted I you. I texted you, and I was like, "What do you think?" Didn't respond. Okay, on the on the on the Hasanabi scale of gas, I did respond, which he is did. why you mm-hmm. should have known. Oh my God, he yeah. like actually. He's like, it's not that bad because I knew. I saw the video. No, he mm-hmm. put it in the group chat. I saw the oh, that, video. That was that was when it looked good. I you, saw. Should the, I show him on screen or should we? Yes, I'll send it. To I Mark. saw the video I didn't even think you had a that you sent me, <laughs> and did. I knew immediately that if I do not reply to this man, yep. he is going to shave it. Yeah, the next morning. I thi- this is not the topic. Why? <laughs> Why? Why, Will? Why not? I th- that Austin had a beard. <laughs> yeah, I it's not that Austin had a beard. This is one of the one of the many grievances that I have. I just want to address it first and foremost. I didn't, I didn't come up. Don't don't look at I me. Said, well, I didn't come up. I that. literally said it in the group chat. I said, guys, tell him he looks hot. Well, that's a topic that Austin's a oh. fraudulent bitch, but what? Yes. Yes. you can keep going now. Tell him he looks hot. I didn't. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I literally said, oh, tell him that he looks hot. No one did, but I, I told you you looked hot. You get a day, mm. and it's over. What? It no. was yesterday. It's a month. It's a day. For what? International Women's Day. I don't believe him. No, no, Look it, it is Women's History Month, and yesterday was yeah. International Women's no, Day. No, that's different. Yesterday uh-huh. was International His- Women's Day. Yeah, he's Today right. Today is Women's History Month. Because you're oh. fucking history. Because Sydney what? Sweeney rocked her tits out, and wokeness what? is dead. <laughs> Yeah, titties. I don't know what that has Which to do is, with me. Do you the more the tits internet? I see, the no? more tits I see, the the less <laughs> the woke I get. What happened? Is. What did Sydney Sweeney do? A tweet do? went super viral because Sydney Sweeney rocked tits at SNL. She dumped them out. In yeah. Will's words, she dumped those bad boys she out at out. any opportunity she had at SNL. Did at you SNL. enjoy it? Yeah. 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 No. And there was I a mean, tweet that said "wokeness is dead," which is a photo of her. And it went giga viral, and but the internet so turned into a fighting ground. The, but it's just so oh, funny because yeah. like people, people are like, "Oh wow, like Sydney Sweeney showing her boobs is not woke." It's like, no man, it's just boobs. Just enjoy it. Wokeness <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Wait, did, no- did she do this live? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Austin, she did this. What does that mean? Well, wait, hold on. Did she pull him out? No, or- no, no. Oh that was my it. god, I thought. I thought she pulled him out. No, that'd be, I mean, that was. That, she does pull him out in you movies. You did say dumped him out. Yeah, you said dumped him out. I thought it was like some sort of like. Those well, are dumped. Yeah, those, I, are dumped oh, those are dumped. Those, those are dumped. Those are dumplings I'm right not, there. I'm not up to date on boob lingo. Those are, those are dumped out because like Sydney Sweeney is at a level where like it's, it's dumping even when you're not trying to dump it. Yeah. I mean, I got to admire those. Those, Those are, are beautiful. Could you yeah. put them back up on the screen? She's killing wokeness. One ta ta. You're ruining time. this. You're I'm ru- sorry. I'm sorry. I cut. I cut you off. No, no, no. I'm telling more, Austin. Austin is ruining grievances. the breast disease experience by being like he's going to analyze it critically. Wait, what do you mean? She'd be like they're so round. <laughs> what am I just not <laughs> like just, a like a perfect sphere? Hey, if, if, is this not? Am I, I, I just not cool I guess enough? his beard is back. <laughs> 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 okay.
Okay. You're a fraudulent bitch okay. for not uh, having your beard. Okay. Fraudulent bitch number two. Well, Point number mad. two. I'd get more pussy yeah. than you with my beard. Okay, I want you to get more pussy than oh, I don't me want to with get your more beard. pussies. That's, That's why crazy. I shaved it. That's okay, crazy. I want you to get more pussy as well. Okay, I Which, don't think I would. Yes, you would. I think I think there's this diminishing return on a beard, and I was at that point. No, you, you reach I think level, it's I'm so sorry. Kitty. No, I think it's because so you obsessed with like wanting to look young, and it's just no, doesn't matter. No, I'm not matter. obsessed with wanting to look young. I look old. You still look young. <laughs> you can still look young with a beard. I look like a grown man. <laughs> anyway, fraudulent bitch point. Fraudulent, fraudulent bitch, part bitch boy, two, what's next? Part two. What's next? There was a time and place mm -hmm. when, in the beginning of my career, as I was a blossoming content creator, mm -hmm. not that big, mm -hmm. there was a man who used to get in the hot tub mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. and call in mm -hmm. to my stream. Mm -hmm. And we'd have a lot of journeys together. Yeah. We've done karaoke together, like old school stuff, things that we can't even do on Twitch anymore. Mm -hmm. Ayahuasca. Then this... Mm -hmm. Then this fraudulent bitch started his hot tub show. It's not a hot tub show. It's a bathtub show. Okay. His bathtub show. In the tub with Austin. Yeah. Okay. Episode two came yeah. out last night. Very, very good reviews. Yep. People love New it. New York Times critically acclaimed. New York Times said <laughs> no one has ever tubbed this hard. No, no. But this fraudulent bitch nowadays doesn't even come on my show ever. Does not even appear when he's staying in my house. He doesn't even stay, uh, get on my stream. And spends every waking moment on Miskip stream. Now, now, hold on. I'm sorry. You know what Miskip what does that you, you do don't yesterday? do? Yesterday, I well, went car shopping. You went car shopping with Miskip. Hmm. You literally did not come to our IRL stream yesterday. Not yesterday. I had to do a last tub time show. we did an IRL stream. Last you didn't time we did an IRL me. stream, you did not come. You didn't invite me. That's the problem. That's okay? bullshit. Don't Listen, try to deflect. I you, used to you used to call you me for debate. Fraudulent. You're no, no, fraudulent. No. He doesn't invite me. You I get all your TikTok chat. clips here. You no, get no, all no. your TikTok clips here. No, and no, then no. you go fuck off to Austin. No, no, no. Hold on. I sit in I have sat in his chat for months. Okay. Months. Hey, Hassan. Lies. No response. Lies. He only wants me because I've got the biggest show that the <laughs> website has ever seen, Austin show in the tub. Okay. That's why he wants me. And chat, this is what happens when you get famous. Okay. Fraudulent bitch point number two. Fraudulent okay. bitch point number three. Okay. All right. You're not coming to Australia. Yeah, because I don't want to. I it, do we even have dates well, on please. this yet? Yeah, please. I well, I put it in the group chat. No, no. Well, you put me, it in Will. the group chat like a hundred times. Do we actually have a date? Yes. We do. He, and that involves that you've already planned with Utah and all the people in Australia. Uh no, Utah is not. A uh, Utah would be the, the Japanese part. I so we haven't still, planned the Japan part of our Australia I, Japan trip at all. Yes, the Australia part is the the Australia part is the closest part. I've already planned it. I'm mapping it out currently. Itinerary will be readily available. If you guys don't want to come, it's all right. I want to come. Don't act like it's not like going to be a streamlined I'm process. Not it will be going. Cutie's not coming. I want to come, but like a no, business class ticket is fifteen thousand dollars right not. now. Holy fifteen thousand dollars round trip. Did you look it up? Yes, Actually? I've been. So I, wait, why would you go to Japan then? Because I I can't. I got to do my tough show. Oh, I, I I swear to God. Oh, so I have to complete class, it by the end of March. I'm going to continue doing it. The business I've, class trip to Japan is also. $15. Yes, my tub show. Yes, but you can. So you can go to Australia, but you can't go to Japan. No, I can go to Japan. I can't go to Australia. Or you can go to Japan. Well, because that'd be what thirty k in flights. No, just no. If you go oh. to Australia and then yeah, you fly to Australia, it's Japan, it's gonna it, be. It's cheaper. on the docket. If you pay for hundred percent of my ticket, <laughs> uh, you get to pay hundred percent of your ticket with the revenue that you generate from this podcast, which I will be shooting when I'm out there. I'm not going. We know. Okay. That's okay. I just like to make that very clear. It's Look, okay. I, no hard I'm, feelings. I'm on the fence. I, I'm on the fence. I would like to go to Japan. I would like to do Japan. Would you like to go to Japan? Would you join yeah. me in going to he Japan? Likes Japan, Japan. Yeah, he loves Japan. Well, you I don't do think the, he wants to go to Australia. Well, you do the, I don't. Well, Australia is great. I, I just don't. I need to look at the dates. I've never been to Australia. I have, I have some shit. It's twenty third. That's for Australia. Twenty third of this Til, month. Oh my god. Till the seventh. Till when? Till the seventh of the next month. Oh my god! It's okay. I I have uh, <laughs> Japan. We could maybe talk about. I, I Australia twenty third to the seventh. So we're doing a week in Australia and a week in Japan. Yeah. Two. Uh, the week in Australia is going to be 
four days in uh, Sydney, four day, uh, or three days in Melbourne. Right, I. And then it would be seven days in Japan after that. Oh my god! Last chopper out of Saigon, like you said. I am. I will yeah. be perfectly honest with you guys. It, it's, okay, I'll do I, it. I am, but I get all the daytime streams. What do you mean? Wait, why would you all want those daytime? streams that you would get at a desktop? I get those. That's drama. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said no. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to come. Like it's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm like uh, like win win. <laughs> Anyway, um, but uh, what was I saying? I get oh. two streams. Well, we're going to record a podcast while you're gone with a bunch of hotties. Yeah. You're going to regret it. You're going to be that's, sorry. If you guys yeah. want to record a podcast here, that's perfectly you fine. Do as well. yeah. You want to try it we're for gonna, the first time? We're going to get seven hotties. Yeah, seven hot. Seven but March is going to be with me. Seven well, hot. we can do it. Well, we're going to stay logged in, we're gonna, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do it all on our own. Yeah, okay. we can do the Shibari stream while he's gone. But oh, Shibari, yeah. wait, why oh, would you thingy. do it without me? What the fuck? I want to do. He doesn't show. fuck with you now. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're canceled. <laughs> We're, We're too famous for you now, Hassan. I'm personally not. <laughs> I would like to make that very clear. <laughs> no, we are. She does the stream rewards. I do the tub show, and Will has the biggest numbers on Twitch every night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These okay, are all well, true. These our are all politics true. shoot and treat me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. I, I had a 50K stream. Yeah. You had a 50K stream? Yeah. State of the Union. State of the Union. Uh, you also were not there. Your friend again. Yeah. 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 You were not there, actually. You didn't people call me, actually. No, people State literally were asking uh, where yeah, you were. You didn't, you, what, you know. what is a State of Union? You didn't, oh, it's where the president gets up and tells you how the union's doing. Or yeah. The state of it. Yeah. What's the union? Well, the uh, union is our country. country. Yeah. Oh, sick. That's dope. Mm -hmm. How yeah. are we doing? Well, <laughs> not so great. Not uh, so great. Oh, shit. Yeah. If you ask Biden, the state of the union is strong. It's not. Yeah. Um, that sucks. But we don't, we don't talk about politics. No, we on don't. this podcast. We talk about personal grievances that we air. Well, he also said he's going to ban camera. TikTok. And yeah. That's kind of fucked yeah, up. Yeah. That, that really pissed me yeah, off. Yeah. Especially because I'm a TikTok boy now. I'm, I actually think that's based. I will like it because I won't be on it, but I'll be a little sad because sometimes be sad. it's funny. I will be very, I will be devastated. He will, I can't lose <gasps> another social media. I kind of want it to be gone now. Oh, Wait, if we, why? If right, we, if, why do you guys, do you guys specifically want bad things to happen to me? I, if Who's they announced guy? they were banning uh, at me all and him social and media, I think we would enter an age of Aquarius. What does that mean? Just like a, a great awakening. Oh, fun. I am okay. one social media platform from shutting down from sucking dick for money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got in the top of the office. Yeah. yeah the, largest the largest show. The largest show in the entire. I mean, it, it critically acclaimed. Critically We're actually going on Broadway. Oh. Yeah. I didn't watch it last night. How was it? It was fantastic. You should have been there. Mm -mm. In the tub? It, it was actually. we. Yeah. I don't pull the numbers. No, you will. <laughs> We'll just throw somebody else in with you. <laughs> oh, that's my God. I'm he's, joking, he's cutie. He's got, he's so, he's got just crazy joking. smoke today. I feel good about it. I just want to get a thousand viewers and play League of Legends every single night. That yeah. makes me happy. I've been playing League with uh, Myth, Ali, mm -hmm. and our win percentage is absolutely ridiculous. I've been I want to play. Carrying S plus. Well, you never hit me up. Have you, you been playing? You need to shut your whore mouth. When do you hit me up? I come into your chat boy? when you play League and I say stuff, and then you never invite me to play. I like, number one, I like to play alone because I get mean. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is classic fear and shit. You try to have it both ways, and no. then you get caught, and I'm, you're like, uh, uh, I get caught. Yeah. I'm not getting caught. Yeah, you, you get caught. You, you drinking like caught. caught. <laughs> I'm not getting caught. You need to invite me. I come into hey, your chat, and I'm like, When was the last time you Hi. invited me to something? Let's Invi fight now. You and me. I invite you to, to trips that we take oh, yeah. oh, all the time. Oh, 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 you well, invite me? Sounds like he invited me. I invite you all the time. In fact, no. you yelled at me once about trying to get you on planes. Yeah, well, that was different than this now. I'm staying out of this. Women's history. I, I, this is, <laughs> and this is your my history. Cutie, uh, by the time you watch this podcast on Monday, Cutie will have thrown a phenomenal birthday party for Kaya. Oh, yeah. Thanks uh, for the invite, by the way, Cutie. You're not invited. Yeah. I have a beef. What? And it's a story. Okay, let's hear it. One of the films nominated at the Oscars is called Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, uh, I was going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's compelling content. Go ahead. Oh. Talk to us about how you're going to watch a fucking movie you didn't watch. I watched the trailer and I thought, this is so good. And then I forgot to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I just 
Can we get a can we get yes. a chapter header for that one, Marsh? I'm trying. I'm trying to bond with my coworkers. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> Have you fucking seen the trailer? I haven't That's even seen. I don't, okay, okay. I don't even know what the movie is. This is oh. not a fall. What? Oh, In the anatomy of a fall. God, you guys are killing me. A guy me. fell down. No, no, no. <laughs> Movies are exhausting. I can't watch dude, them. Dude, okay, we have Go to ahead. Be, wait, wait. <laughs> finish this thought, but we I have another thing that you are gonna love. Go on. In this movie, there is a dog actor. Yeah, and he fucks. Wait, wait, acting. what? Wait, there's, a, there's a there's an acting dog. Like a dog yeah. that's an actor. Yeah, but he fucks. Oh. No, he doesn't fuck. He just, he just like, like Air Bud, but in a dramatic film. But fucking. <laughs> There's no sex in the dog. Marsh, that'd please be, just pull this up. That'd be crazy and erotic. And the dog was going to come to the Oscars. That's so sick. Because the dog does a great job in the film. Mm hmm probably the most compelling character in the film he's an actor damn you hated this movie huh no they rallied against the dog and they banned him from attending the Who's wait they? why is the dog look it up is the dog pro palestine is that why <laughs> oh my god i'm so glad i brought topics today oh, for you animals they, they were like this dog is oh my gosh they were like this is a controversial dog messy. he can't be here messy the dog why they what what was the reasoning will because they apparently there was a contingent of like actors or people in the academy that thought that anatomy of the of a fall would gain like support in its bid for best picture i think if the dog is at the oscars now look at how cute this dog is that's insane it's look at like this dog it's an acting dog Look at this dog throwing shapes. Bitch, I could do that. I'll be honest, yeah. You could not do that. It could serve a tougher beat. I've seen beat. you act. Uh, <laughs> Wait, that's you. insane, though. Couldn't you make that argument for, like, literally every famous celebrity? Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, the, like yeah bringing Reynolds. them in. No, they're saying, well, listen, this... Daddy, uh, look at this I'm dog. I'm so mad. I, okay, you're so right. This is a great story. That is an acting dog. Because I'm fucking livid right Thank now. Thank you. The that's fact mean. that they said... No. Yes. To this dog He's actually dead. being Look at the at Oscars him. when he deserves to yes. be at the Oscars. So this acting job he's doing right now is <gasps> a very specific thing he learned how to do Dead because dog. in the movie he gets drugged <gasps> and he plays drugged and he does an awesome job. That's insane. Yes. He should win an Oscar. That, yeah. Because the movie's not that great. You but can't. The dog is awesome. The dog. The well, oh, the movies. The, the movie is good, and it's they just, all knew that. It's just very. There's tense only so much you can do about falling and, down. But realistically, I mean, this is what we've. We. Th I love him. I would. What okay. do we? What do we have to do, Will? Well, that's why we're using our platform to try and get this dog to the Oscars. What? Hey, let the dog in. <gasps> Oh, that's perfect. Kaya can kind of do that no. now too. Yes. No, she <laughs> no. can. She can sit up. She can. She. she can does. we invite him Kaya to Kaya's is birthday a party? Snuggling dog. She is not an acting dog. That's an acting dog. Do you think the dog got paid? Yes. Yeah. But who not gets the money? That's fucked up. Actually, the owners. Yeah, that. Should, but that's kind of messed up, don't money. you think? I mean, I'm sure they treat the dog very well. What if they don't? You don't know. I. Like, Child actors. I what if they put, leave the dog in a cage? This topic, because I'm not a cynical bitch. This, That's why I think the dog is being treated well. This, I this read topic has been brilliant. Jeanette <laughs> McCurdy's book, and her mom did some fucked up shit. And who knows about that dog's mom? Okay. Uh, speaking of movies, it fucks up shit. It's Oscars movie weekend. I didn't even know that that Should was happening. Should we do a betting? Okay. Should we bet? On Should we do a betting? <laughs> Should we do what? a betting on it? Okay. Listen, it's Oscars movie weekend. I am listening. It's Oscars movie weekend. Will and I went on uh -oh. a cinematic mm -hmm. journey this past week. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. We we were we were Moadib. Uh. We were Lisa Al Gaib. Okay. Yeah. We were fucking. Gumjibard. We were doing. We were doing it. We, we were, were doing. doing your mom. Okay. We, we watched it. I invited Cutie Cinderella, no, no, not no. Austin. I had a lovely Dune sponsorship. Yeah. So you can't talk about my things that I say. No, sometimes. I already did on stream, so oh. it's too late. So it's already been leaked. Uh, we already did the sponsorship, Cutie, right? but but the sponsorship I was love the sponsorship the movie. The sponsorship wasn't about the movie specifically. It was about Microsoft Flight counter. Simulator. It was about the movie. Yeah. Okay. Well, Microsoft Flight Simulator DLC. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? For the way. movie. Anyway, Hello? just 
Let me. Oh my god. god. She oh won't god. even get on the damn plane. My point is Today this. Is tough. <laughs> my point is this. Is I was like, let's go watch Dune. And Cutie literally said, Yeah. I can't watch movies. They are too long. Yes. And Austin also agrees. What the fuck is happening well, to I'll both watch of you? We don't have time. When I can have it at that, home okay, and I can pause you it. Is, that's insane. What was your excuse? I, I'll watch it once I can have it at home and I can pause it. I got to take breaks. I get bored. This podcast is too long for my ass. I don't know. I don't know why they're like this. I don't know. I don't know how you can be like this. I don't like to watch movies. I think I have multifaceted issues. <laughs> I watch on a plane. Delta has the screens. I just it just sits in the. You know when the button where that is like, physically the I worst watch, way that you can appreciate the medium. Literally, no, bar I don't. None. I don't it's like watch, watching it on no. an iPad. It's like watching it on an iPhone. I don't watch oh movies my God. on the plane. That's what I'm saying. I don't even look at the TV. I just turn it off and I scroll on TikTok. For how many hours? That's a long. Time. It depends on the flight. Yeah, that's crazy. Tomorrow, I I'm, I watch The Office. I can't believe I'm a normal person <laughs> in this conversation and you guys aren't. No I feel like that. I, no I enjoy that. Things. Everybody relates to us. I uh, enjoy things you don't. Can I what? suggest something while we're on the topic of Dune? Uh, please pull up. I think it's called 4XD. Dune in 4XD. Apparently, there's a new way to watch movies. Whoa. I haven't heard about no. this. No. Is this like with the... <laughs> Can you smell dude, it? Dude, there's a clip of someone watching Dune in 4XD that was on the internet, and it looks insane. Oh, is it, is it like the shaking seats and stuff? Yes! Like, yeah. Can you smell that worm's good good in 4XD? What are you talking <laughs> we about? We all thought about it. Just talking about Kitty, the worm mostly. drugs? <laughs> I think, about the on me. I think it's called 4XD. It's, I want it's, like, it's maybe 4D. <laughs> or, or XD. Probably... 4DX. There's 4D like a clip. experience. Oh. I've, I, I think... <laughs> wow, you guys are... Don't yeah. join them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Oh, my God. Yes, movies are so it's bad. It's so good. I, I love... I, I wanted to watch Zone of Interest movies. before the Oscars. I'm like... Zone of Bobo? interest, I hear, is Zone punishing. It's uh, yeah, I heard it's I heard it's punishing, but it? like very good at the same time. Wait, look at this guy. Go. Yes, yes. Yeah. Look at this shit. Fog, bubbles, water, um, the seats move. I feel like this is some this this has existed before, and they're trying to do it again for Zoomer bait Wait, for people like Austin. Awesome. See, it's for people like Austin. Well, but you that's cannot appreciate so fucking cool. Kino when you're fucking getting shook around, Shrek I don't think. did it first. But listen, they had Shrek 4D, and he would fart, and you could smell that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Universal listen, Studios. We've already yeah. seen the movie. I, feel I, I would like watch it again. If we take this. mushrooms and then go watch it in that, it would be. We would be. I would. The, the I would fucking, do that. Yes. But I. But I have to watch it once. Like I had to give it a once over yep. in the way that it's in the way Meant that God intended. Right, 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 right. But now we can ride the worm. Yeah. God. Oh my God. Dune two. It's Ride so the worm. Yeah. I think yeah. that was actually the working yeah. title of the film. Do you guys know that? No. Ride the worm. <laughs> no. I just oh. it. Um. I have another oh, gripe, unrelated to yeah. Get it. Get the, it out. The people here. Oh, thank God. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm not done with you, oh, bitch. Fuck. What are you yeah. doing for the rest of the day? You're gonna be on my stream. No, I'm, trick I'm, you def out. I definitely I'm have plans. I do have a lunch engagement, but after that, I'll be free. I just. Who do you have a lunch engagement? I've got friends, Kitty, in West Hollywood. Street gays. There are no street gays. <laughs> I took a vacation with again. the street gays. We'll talk about it later, but go ahead. Okay. Um, there <coughs> are oftentimes in Hollywood, in the world of marketing and PR, there are celebrities that just kind of come out of nowhere. Sure. And they basically become unavoidable. They're just all over, and everyone's always like, oh my God, this is the it girl, this is the it couple. And I have a gripe with the new latest It Couple. It is all over my timeline. I don't know if you guys know about these people. Maybe you'll be able to help me out with this uh, acuity. Because uh, I'm white? <laughs> what? Because I'm yeah, white. Yeah, what do you no, have against white people? Yeah. Because you're more in tune with pop culture, especially on white. this <laughs> side of... It had no, nothing tell me to about do it. with They're whiteness. Us nothing today. <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about, tell me about my whiteness. Brooklyn Beckham <laughs> and Brooklyn Beckham's wife. Oh, I do Nicole. know about this. Yes. Yeah. I knew white. it. I knew you would know. I wanted to bring you into the conversation. Yeah. So 
I am deeply frustrated with Nicole Peltz and Brooklyn Beckham Why? for a couple different reasons. One, because I think Brooklyn Beckham classic story of like nepotism and huh? he just, uh, he just didn't really bring anything to the table. Well, he's His hot. coffee book table was like dog shit. Right. Well, but now I, I he got own fucking, it. You own his coffee book table? He loves yeah, it. Yeah, it's in my house because... Like, the, where is this? this is an elephant. I think Caroline's a fan. What does Brooklyn Beckham Caroline like is not a fan days? of Brooklyn Beckham. Don't no. slander my queen like that. No, That's she fucks ridiculous. with him. She told me. Okay. Uh, Nicole Peltz and Brooklyn Beckham got fucking married. You don't even know who the fuck Nicole Peltz is. Apparently, she's the daughter of, like, some investor at mm. Disney or something. Come. And it's like... And they are all over the place. They're fucking on, like, Nylon Magazine, Interview Magazine, The right. It Couple. And I'm just like, no! I know what you're doing. You're putting this in front of my fucking eyeballs everywhere for me to go, who are these people? Oh, I guess they're The It Couple. Just to make, like, a new franchise pick, okay? Fuck that shit. I don't want it. I get very mad. These people have done nothing that is worthy of any praise or any attention whatsoever. You're just trying to make them famous because they're fucking rich and their parents are rich. Based. And that's the only reason why they're tr you're trying to fucking make them famous because they pay $30,000 a month on retainer to a fucking PR firm. Based. And then and then all of a sudden we have to learn about like, oh, look at the fits that they have at Paris Fashion Week. Fuck you. So mm. go so ahead. How did you want me to contribute? I just, I'm so, am, yeah. I, am I unreasonable? No, like, where the fuck did these no. people come from? I get it. That's bullshit. I, that, I I'll don't be wanna... the devil's advocate. I like it. Me too. We needed because we're bored of Haley Bieber and Justin. Bieber. We need another industry pick. Yeah, we're bored of Travis. And, and they're a hot Taylor. couple. Show a picture of them. I just I don't know. I don't know what this. Is. By the way, I no, know no, no, from. No, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. hold on, Austin. What hair color? Brooklyn Beckham. Does Brooklyn Beckham have? Yeah, uh, he's brown. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> You do not yeah. know what these people look like. I know at what all. Brooklyn Beckham looks you like. You do not know Brooklyn what either of these people like. look like. Look, look at that. Look at look at that. Hold on. Images. Oh, look at them. Oh, look that's at my them. couple. Aren't they gorgeous. Yes. That's Brooklyn it's Beckham. Wow, that's the new Johnny Depp and Renona Ryder. Yeah, they are not. That's the funniest part is like Brooklyn Beckham is not even attractive. <laughs> I mean, when he, I mean, come on. I mean, he's no, not bad when you're when Pop Pop is Beckham and Mom Mima is fucking one uh, of the Spice Super Girls, Mama. Yeah. And you're you should be looking hot as fuck. Okay, he's yeah. rich as hell. He's rich as hell. We literally have her here. We have yeah, model yeah, and on the poster. You, he's rich uh, as hell. If that's the if that is the maxed out version of that, that dude is busted. No, I'm with you though. I don't care. About Did you them. see the photo of um, <laughs> Selena Gomez posted this on her Instagram? And it's oh yeah, Selena's uh, best ben, is with them Benny too. Benny Blanco is that who she's dating? Yeah, yeah he's, Benny Blanco is the man. Full handed on her boob. Yeah, he's Benny Blanco is the man. He's, he's based. cool as fuck. He's yeah. based. I love Benny Blanco. Like Why do I love him? Because talented producer, Woke funny dad dude, grabbing titties. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Talented producer, loves to fucking hang, definitely a funny. bro, funny guy. Roxy Unibrow. Um, mm. Roxy Unibrow. I don't love that. No, that's he's, based. Okay. He also so? is like very yeah. into food too, and yeah, I love that that's shit. That's also based. So, <laughs> like Benny Blanco is great. He's a great example of someone who's like, <laughs> okay, this guy has a lot of unique eclectic interests and whatnot. He's cool. He, he is like worthy of the media attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. And God, that, that it, dude fucks. You know, Wait, is he dating you know, Selena Gomez? You know, yeah, that photo. Look at that you photo. You know for damn sure that motherfucker is not on the on the timeline because of how hot he is, okay? <laughs> no, but let me tell you something. He's so happy to be there. You know what I mean? That's what we need. We all would be. No. That's Selena. Well, Look at I mean, that. I, yeah, no, I get, I get No, but that. what I'm saying is, is he is like, um, like he won the lottery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair. Um, Don't know where you're going here, uh... I, I don't understand. What? No, take it away, chef. I'll be honest. I didn't know really where I was going with that one either. But he just you know, missed the sound of his voice. What I mean is, they're is, giving us nothing. I know this has been a this has been bare. What are you talking about? What do you want right. us to give us? Well, or give I you? got another topic. This week we suffered. I think what will be one of the most impactful losses globally. Yes. Toriyama passed away this week. Akira Toriyama at the age of 68. And famous creator young. of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and, and, and many and other. It's crazy because I don't know if you guys experience this, but like when you're streaming, people will bring in topics. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, have you covered this yet? If they think it's relevant. Toriyama is one that 
every 10 minutes, someone will come into my stream and be like, did you talk about Toriyama yet? During the State of the Union, yeah. there was like mostly people bringing yeah. that up because it, it came out. I think Dragon Ball Z is one of those pieces of media that is so ubiquitous, it's hard to even measure how many people from our age range, probably to down around like 20, yeah, grew up with Dragon Ball Z, consumed Dragon Ball Z, and like just that that art style too is just everywhere. Yeah. It also so transcended awesome. cultural boundaries. Like this is one of the most impactful pieces of media in Latin yeah. America, for example. Like there's a lot of jokes about how like Mexico is mourning right now, but I cover this on a stream. Uh, I wonder if March can uh, pull this up, but like there are in Mexico, in in Mexico, Dragon Ball Z is so big, yeah, that they illegally subbed the ending of one of the seasons and the town played it actually the town played square. it in the town square to like thousands of people yeah. they yeah. say that sat down cartel activity goes down when new episodes of dragon ball z get released yeah Whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like it, it is. It why is the is most that? important. Why, why is it why, why, so popular? Why okay. did it take off in Mexico? Of all why places? it did is because it was cheaper to license than American cartoons, mm -hmm. so they licensed it. And there it, it is. Just, yeah. Look, so this is them showing it to like a town square. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And and the the Japanese embassy had to reach out to the Mexican embassy to to get them to stop doing this. They were like, "You can't. This is a copyright violation." They still yeah. did it. But how how incredible! Yeah, the people is that? love it. But if you're the Japanese embassy and you saw that, yeah, wouldn't you want to work with them to make sure that they could view it? Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I think it's, that's cool. I think it doesn't matter. It's like one of those things that it's just like it shows the impact of it. All right, so now I have a question. I know that pff, you've powered up before. Yes, every time I'm in a pool, and also, have you guys uh, ever powered up? That was the nerdiest thing. You've I, I'm, I oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was it was. I have no joy in my life. Hour, <laughs> cutie Cinderella. So there's a clip. Uh, pull this up, Marsh. Last night, uh, Caroline Kwan. This isn't on LSF. If you want to go there, Caroline Kwan walked into my office and she had just learned about powering up mm. for the first time. And it, she did. She did a. <laughs> she, she did a power up that wasn't that great. No. And in oh, honor sure of Toriyama, I had to show her how to adequately power up. So this is just just, just a quick power up here. <laughs> the before and after. This is a Super Saiyan 2. Look at Caroline trying to fit in with the yeah. cool kid. You scared? <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God damn, you look good. No, Thank she you. should do it. Is she gonna do Take it? Take your shirt off, Queen. <laughs> Wait. Go get, Go get me a shirt. <laughs> God, you look good. Wait. And then I say, gotta learn sometime. <laughs> Ludwig's done that a few times. Yeah, you gotta power up. So I was he thinking in the, in the paywall shirt. section, you guys should power up. Oh, okay, I, I'll try. I don't want to. I, I, <laughs> I, I wasn't allowed to watch Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon as a kid, or Harry Potter. Because you were gay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, you wouldn't have been gay if you watched. It. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't allowed to watch. My mom, for some reason, she wasn't even religious, but she said no to those things. I mean, she, she was religious, but I don't know why. That's they, they banned yeah. I never for, watched it growing uh, up. I my, wasn't able to watch it. Well, you were a girl. You were supposed to watch Taylor Moon. I and you were Mormon. I didn't have that. I didn't have that. Mormons channel. aren't allowed to watch Pokemon. She and is the Dragon one. Ball Z. Sailor Moon. I watched Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I'd, I wait. But I don't think I was allowed to watch that either. My, my, the fuck? I don't know, dude. I'm learning so much about why you're so weird. My okay. I'm weird. Okay, so we yeah. have we have a bunch of shows and stuff that like obviously we will feel the loss of because we grew up with them. Do you guys think you have like a Dragon Ball Z that was like so impactful on your youth? Growing up, I got sad when Kobe died. <laughs> well, that I remember where I was when Michael Jackson died, <laughs> but uh, it was impactful onto me. I don't, don't know. I still think about it, and I get really sad. No, I used like, to watch we're talking about shows, man. We're not talking about, I like, to watch Rugrats. <laughs> I, we learned that Cutie's got the Mambo mentality. <laughs> yeah. 
It made uh, me sad. Uh, Rug, I watched Rugrats. Uh, I watched Rugrats. Wild Thornberries. I watched them. I don't think these you are know, like. I will say my favorite one as a kid that I never wanted to miss was Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, yeah. I did. Want... Yep. Yeah. That actually Boop. freaked me out. Ed, Ed, Ed. Can, can I say? I'd say it all the time. Okay, that's actually a good point. I want to ask you guys something. Ed, Ed, and Eddie freaked me the fuck out. It gave that's me right. the heebie jeebies for some reason. That encouraged the cowardly dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cowardly dog. That was scary. Courage the cowardly dog is supposed to give you the heebie jeebies. Like and it. I think courage is like one of the great cartoons because it's like Twilight Zone, the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, it just, the, the sense of isolation and loneliness like made me sad and scared as a child. Mario! But I just didn't like it. That didn't happen on um, uh, Ed and Eddie. They were no, all fun. there was something. They had very... jawbreakers. Is it just the art style? I yeah. I don't think it's just the art style because I because I know the Ed and Eddie, Ed Ed and Eddie like the original guy who made it is actually kind of crazy, right? Like he his old work, if you look at it, is like really violent, really oh. gross, <laughs> like very adult focused. I'm pretty sure. If yeah, that, can you a look up Ed Ed and Eddie? Like uh, a lot of the cartoons older work? from that era are from like animators and you know people that kind of had a more adult old Ren old and Stimpy there's uh, a lot of adult under themes. what was the one with the with I didn't the hands like Ren and under Stimpy. the underbelly or whatever there was like the naked one with the eyeballs Ah, real oh, monsters. Oh, I hated that one. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, like, yeah. all of those cartoons from that era are like kind of fucked. That's up. so funny because I don't count Ed, Ed and Eddie in that. But, but I, I but I think Ed, Ed, can you look up Ed, Ed and Eddie uh, creator old work? Well, one thing that's interesting about Ed, Ed and Eddie is it's just like it's like a world of children kind of devoid of parents. Yeah. Like, there's always like a mention of his uh, older brother. And I think there's things, a butcher. But... Look up butcher. I mean, I guess brother. I watched I watched a lot of Simpsons growing up. Simpsons is great. Yeah. Eh. Simpsons is really interesting because season one through 10 is like this insane, amazing work of art. And then after season 10, they basically call it Zombie Simpsons, where it's just really? they kept running because of the success of the Simpsons. And they just yeah. kept well, growing it's together. still running to this day. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Old Simpsons is like, there's a reason why you will always point back to like Old Simpsons episodes. Yeah. You're like, they predicted this, they predicted this, which well, it's, they did. It's because they literally employed half of the Harvard Lampoon yeah. on the writing staff. They did. Like, oh, and really? they were all like, there to was this a... day, like members of the Harvard Lampoon will just go work at the Simpsons. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. A friend That's of mine interesting. who wrote for the Simpsons, also Harvard Lampoon grad. Yeah. Um, wow. I don't have. I don't think I have a lot of shaping cartoons. Like my my step siblings used to watch Dragon Ball Z. My stepbrother and my stepsister, and they had all the characters. Yeah. And sometimes I'd walk in their room and they'd have they'd be like playing with the characters, but I kind of didn't fuck with them because my stepsister she would fart in a box, <laughs> and like a Tupperware box, and she'd put a lid on it and then she'd throw the box in the room you were in and take the lid off. It was crazy. I don't what does that, that have to do with, do with Dragon, with Dragon Ball, Z? Ball Z? Because I was just saying I didn't fuck with her. I, I don't and think so Akira Toriyama is responsible for your stepsister's fart <laughs> For your fart sister's bombs. fart Tupperware. Because <laughs> like, if, if she was like, if she was that. at least saying like Kamehameha when she did that, like I maybe, mean, maybe. Uh, I don't know, but I just associated Dragon Ball Z with her, and she was kind of mean. Okay, so what is your formative show? Well, I each, think we'll, Powerpuff Girls. PP, PPG. I love Powerpuff Girls. I'd play it on. Who's your favorite PPG? Uh, Bubbles. And mm, I'd play it sense. on the playground, but there's only three Powerpuff Girls, so we'd like run out and we'd just start making up names. Well, they we'd well there was the Rowdy and, Rough Boys. Yeah, you could have also had the Gang Green you Gang. Know, what you don't talk about enough what? as cartoon fans is how fucked up Mojo Jojo's arc is. Yeah, he was the victim. Yeah, do you I guys know Mojo Jojo was Professor X's little baby? Like he loved yeah. him, and then he drops him on his head. And he get and he gets Chemical X in his brain. Yeah. And then he has to become Mojo Jojo, and he just gets yeah. abandoned by Professor. Is it Professor X? Is that his name? Yeah. Professor X is kind of fucked up when you think about it. He literally was experimenting on babies. Oh. No, Professor Utonium. Oh, is that his name? Accidentally or, added an extra ingredient. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Chemical it's like, why are you? Uh, chemical X. Why are you? Yeah. Why are you fucking experimenting on babies, bro? That's he, weird. Well, well, he makes children too. He's a bad yeah, guy. I I, he is the real bad guy. They have story. well, yeah, he's they, kind they of a bad guy. They have some weird characters. This. Do you guys remember that there is a gay Satan in this yeah. show, just called him? And he would like whistle. He'd be like, "Hello." <laughs> yeah. Oh, but Miss Sarah, she was hot. Yeah, and you never saw her face. Uh, Miss, I thought it was Miss Bellum. No, oh. Miss Bellum's their teacher. Was it the same oh, animator as Samurai Bell. Jack? 
Look at Sarah. that. Yeah, Miss Sarah Yowza. Bell. Yowza. Absolute smoke Humming a, humming a, humming a, humming a, humming Fuzzy Lumpkins. I don't remember Fuzzy Lumpkins. You don't remember Fuzzy Lumpkins? Mm -hmm. He was another main villain. Uh, but yeah, PBG was sick. I kind of preferred Dexter's Lab. I thought yes. Dexter's Lab. Oh, I, I like love Dexter's, Dexter's Lab. Lab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what was the show that you grew up with that you... You know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie here to be cool. Well, don't look at me. I actually watched it. I didn't really watch a lot of television growing so what up. did you do when you were a kid? Did you just go to Starbucks as a kid? No. Tana? Have you been doing the same shit? What happened? I <laughs> he took um, bubble baths. I, growing up, well, if you want to know, um, I grew up and I played a lot of video games, but mostly the same video games. RuneScape, uh, I played a lot of flights. I used to put thousands of hours into Flight Simulator. Um, At what uh, age? So, uh, like, from, like, 13 on yeah but I like used what, to sit, when yeah, you were like what did six, you do what did you, you watch as a kid what did i watch i watched like i said rugrats wild thornberries i think uh, you might be the most uh high functioning socially autistic person i've ever met in my <laughs> life which is precisely the reason why like you don't either you have mastered masking and like people don't understand it because you're describing my brother like Marat is exactly the same way, but like everybody immediately knows it's like, okay, rocket scientist, like a lot of this shit makes sense. <laughs> he played Microsoft Flight Simulator all the fucking time. And he didn't have these same like hobbies that I did. Mm. And I think it was because of, you know, a little bit of uh, the thing that I was He's just that mentioning. Boy got the illness. Yeah. You, it's a spectrum. Do you do you feel like you might have a little bit of that? Because you did spend, like, a lot of your formative years, like, when you were in college, when you are supposed to socialize at, at, at Applebee's. Yeah, at, yeah, at Applebee's. Yeah. I love By Chili's. yourself. Yeah, and I used to... <laughs> I used to have to avoid bullies like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one time I had a boyfriend take me on a Valentine's date to Applebee's. Yeah, it was... No, I love Applebee's. What's I'm a, just saying. What's it's like a show that the... was formative for you? What's a show that was formative for me? I think I watched so much when I was growing I up. I graduated from cartoons to like, like I fucking loved Even Stevens. Okay, I you can say that. I loved Hannah Montana. Yeah. Like that shit. I, I loved those shows. I loved Even Stevens. You know what show is super formative for me? Hmm. Allie McBeal. Oh my God. I don't know that one. Dude. Dude, you just like unlocked memories yeah. in my brain. Remember the baby? The dancing the baby. The schizophrenic baby. Yeah. I, dude, that used to freak me the fuck out. I was like, yeah. It was one of those moments where I was like, damn, I don't know if I'm I supposed would watch to be seeing this. Allie shit. McBeal with my mother. What's it about? It's, it's about, about a, lawyer. a female lawyer. Yeah. Oh, that's in the city. I only watch real lawyers. Judge that's Judy. That's crazy. Oh, I love Judge Judy. Yeah, Judge Judy's. Good. I used to watch the. Fuck you guys out watch of like it. daytime television as children. I used to watch so and oh. Price is Right. Yeah, uh, I didn't that's... do that as much. But whatever my mom was watching when I came home from school, I Judge like... Judy. I used to watch a lot of uh, Divorce old, Court. Yeah, old time TV, the Andrew Griffith Show. Your beige outfit makes sense now. <laughs> It I think he looks great. Splatters. He does. He does look great. Oh like, my god! I hate I'm just, to you. Jesus you look Christ! Hot. You look hot. You look hot. Being mean. They're both being mean. <laughs> I know, but they're just bored. I flew today. in. I got up at fucking three o'clock in the morning Pacific. Got on Maybe a plane and flew in. here. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. You look good. You look. I, good. I thought about it. I was hungry. We're getting catty. I was like, I'm just oh, not yeah. gonna come okay. today. We've yeah, had no. enough. Um, I think you look nice. I think formative shows. I would say. Uh, I was Boondocks. too busy dominating the like, just chatting oh, section. Boondocks is like one of the most important shows for me, I think. Samurai I am the stone with the builder refused. But like, I am the visual, the inspiration for, that made Lady sing the blues. I'm the spark that made your idea bright. I'm the same spark that lit your dark so that you can tell your left from your right. I am the ballot in the box, the bullet in the gun, the interglode and let you know to call your brother's son. Yeah, Boondocks That's, went what, crazy. The, how did you know that? That's the intro song. It's I have the other kind of autism. Bear the big blue house. That was a good one. Oh, I remember that one. But yeah, Boondocks big. Uh, Sam Archambault was big. Cowboy Bebop was big, obviously. And I know this is him for you. But for specifically, like, I've talked about this already, but um, we didn't have, like, uh, popular anime in Turkey. The only thing that was dubbed in Turkish was Captain Tsubasa, which is a soccer, soccer anime. Yeah. And I didn't like soccer, so I didn't really care about it. And I thought, like, the... Subasa was pretty sick, though. I thought anime was all about just soccer. Yeah. So then, <laughs> when I fucking read the manga, like, for the first time ever, when I read Dragon Ball, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is a whole new world. Like, a whole new genre of things. So, like, Akira Toriyama is straight up my introduction yeah. to weep shit. Yeah. And, oh. and then Naruto after that. 
So, you know, he's, um, his work is, is really important for me. I mean, yeah, like I said, transcends cultural boundaries for sure. So I've been very carefully threading in uh, all the relevant and popular topics from the week. Does anybody else have any topics that they've brought to you? Yes, multiple, uh, there's been multiple sensationalized plane incidents occurring recently. Oh, sensationalized. Yes. I saw a tire fall off yes. a motherfucker. Yes, but every, the, all these, my theory is that all of these things are happening consistently, but ever since the door flew off the Alaska Airlines MAX plane, every time something happens in aviation, the tire thing I can understand, but anytime something happens in aviation, engine flame out, you know, emergency landing. Yeah. It's a hot topic right yeah. now. And it's the media it's, is sensationalizing it's a big it. car trying to get everyone back to driving. But I I think these things have always been happening. And what? Yes. No, air no, travel. He's right. Air travel. Yes, I'm right. Of course I'm right. Because well, I'm I fucking glad they're study being, aviation. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're for being years. publicized then. We should no. know about all these no. fuck no, we ups shouldn't. that are happening. We shouldn't per because a aviation uh, air, air travel is the safest mode of transportation, always has been. And also, yeah, I have, we just I have left. A, hold on. We left one of the uh, safest years uh, of air travel. Yeah. Uh, we just departed. 2023 I, I, is the safest I'm gonna year I'm going to tell you right now, travel. if I was on a flight where the tires fell off, I'd probably never fly again. What? Yeah, 100%. It was one, it was one tire. You, you're in a plane that flies. It flies. Cutie, get my back on this one. I never go on it. You Thank should you. never get on a plane, period. Yeah. Well, um, here's, I know she's had my back, too. Here's what, here's what you, I will cutie. say. You're <laughs> both right and a little wrong at the same time. I think you're um, right. I think you are right. It is one of the safest. Uh, today is the safest time to fly, mm -hmm. uh, and and tomorrow will be even safer than yesterday. That's that. just how it works. Um, there's consistent uh, regulation because the reality is it's a magic box in the sky. If it didn't fucking, if you did not feel a sense of safety, you would come to the recognition that we are actually disrespecting god every moment that yeah. we're on a fucking plane so obviously obviously it has to be super safe having said that however boeing has been fucking up quite a bit you're right that there's a lot more media attention now mm -hmm. specifically on that front where they're like oh anytime like a anytime like a piston flies off everyone's like whoa you see this shit mm -hmm. it's crazy it's social media <laughs> yeah no i'm i I'm, I'm saying that there's like more attention to it for here i'll give you an example East Palestine, Ohio, there was a massive train derailment, right? There was big clouds and everyone freaked out over it. And everyone was like now looking at derailments and uh, derailments both in trains, but also derailments that occurred or, or car crashes that occurred when, you know, trucks were carrying chemicals and stuff. The reality of the matter is there are more than 1,000 train derailments that occur every year. Mm. And it's yet still some of the safest uh, for, uh, methods of travel for for uh, infrastructure and like logistics, and yet people were paying. You know, people were hyper focusing on it. It's the same phenomena around crime. It's like crime is a constant, but when you're when you're constantly getting blasted by like apps like Nextdoor, Citizen, Ring, and the like, you think, oh my god, there's crime happening all the time, and you uh, create a sense of panic surrounding it. Um, so so you are right on that. I do think that there is a lot of hysteria that it builds yeah. up. Yeah. Because dying in a plane crash is the worst death. Yeah. I mean, I would agree with that. It is the worst death imagined. It's not great. You're right. I think getting eaten by rats would also suck. N give me the rats. Really? Give me the rats. Yeah, wow. the plane crash would suck. Plane crash is the uh, unfathomable misery. Yeah. Unless, unless. It's everybody's greatest Unless fear. the most euphoric one, which is you, uh, you asphyxiate and you... Uh, Peacefully slumber. It ain't gonna be like that. No, it's gonna be. Oh, fuck yeah, it's gonna like, be. A, it's yeah. gonna be a beeping siren, baby crying, lady screaming, <laughs> guy <laughs> praying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then you're upside down. Yeah, is I thought you would agree with me on this. No, like he's the, the the ghost plane phenomenon is like that's he's like based. not the worst. I don't know. I'm terrified of that. Every like I I he's have anxiety. <laughs> I have anxiety when it comes to flying. Every time I get on a plane, there's a reality. I'm like, yeah. this could be my last flight. Yeah. I, I do think that. And, and if a tire fell off in your plane, your trauma would be deep and valuable. The, 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 the tire thing doesn't bother me because I guarantee those passengers. If a captain came on the thing and was like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have to perform an emergency <laughs> landing. Please. Bro. And you, you, would, you, would, you would cry. You'd be sobbing. No, I'd be consoling everybody around me saying, I've, oh, done, I've done this in flight simulator. <laughs> you'd be scratching to get in the cockpit because yeah, you think you'd do be a like, better oh, job. I can land us. No, but every time I sit down in a plane, I do think, 
I hope you, yeah, you're like, I hope this falls so I can save everybody. No, I don't hope that that happens, but should the opportunity arise, I will be ready. Stand back and stand by. Yeah. Does anybody else have any topics? What are we at, Marge? Okay. Someone else brought a well, topic. Come on, I watched. I watched. I watched the finale. Well, the finale. Love is blind. This is follow yeah. up, right? Yeah. This is important. Um. So, the ones I told you about, Jimmy and Chelsea. Um. They have their last date before they're supposed to go to the altar. Their wedding, which these weddings are so. I don't even know if you guys will care. The weddings are so shittily done, which of course they're shittily done, but it's like so sad because these girls are all wearing like the cheapest wedding dresses you've ever seen. They've mm. got folding chairs out. They like have to reuse the, like they have balloon uh. arches. Like it's, it's rough. It's like, you know, and they're just yeah. rinse and repeat, have the next wedding for the TV show. Mm. I think that if that show's got to make so much money, they've got to spend more on these weddings. <laughs> it's True. crazy. Anyway, if you're going to get married. Yeah. Um, but yeah. the day, the day before, Jimmy and Chelsea like went on a date and they had this great date all day and they talked about how much they loved each other and then Jimmy was like, yeah, we're not going to alter. <gasps> yeah, drama. Wait, is this Love is Blind? Actually yeah. kind of uh, based. Did he say they would keep dating though? I like, don't think so. Oh. I don't think they, yeah, because she, she got really, like, so this is kind of crazy because I know, like obviously the cameras aren't always filming you on these reality TV shows and I guess at some point he like confessed to her like, hey, by the way, like this is my friend Sarah and I've, I've I used to sleep with her, just so you know, you know, and like kind of like talked about their past experiences off camera oh. and stuff like that. And then on camera, he gets home and he was out later than she would like him to be. Mm. And she was like pissed. And she was like, you were out with Sarah and like you fucked her. And like, did you've told me you fucked her. Did and he fuck her? At some point. Not at that okay. point. Okay. And she was like, it's not cool with you hanging out with people that you used to fuck. And he was like, whoa told you that off camera like that's embarrassing for like her or, like she has nothing to do with the show like mm. you know like oh well, now she does yeah exactly mm. now and she so, has everything to do with the show and so he like brought that up when he was breaking up with her he's like yeah remember when you did that like that was really fucked up and then she like kept doubling down she's like no it's more fucked up that you hung out with her and you and it was just like yeah this is good to walk yeah away. and he was like yeah yeah like she was he was like this proved my point but then the next Wait, day. is this Megan Fox? Yes. Yeah. The next day, um, <laughs> I just want to have the two picture couples in my went to the altar. Okay. Um, there was Clay and AD, and then like Johnny and Amy. Johnny and Amy are cringe and boring, and they love each other, and they got married, and blah blah blah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they are. But no, then, it's cool that we know why you watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> You're not you there for the, the success. <laughs> yeah. No, it's. A Did they say my show. person to each other? Dude. Yes, it's so insane. Okay. I pisses me off. I don't know. Okay, how so I did some people. research on that. Uh -huh. Apparently, that's a Grey's Anatomy thing. Huh? My yeah. person. Yeah, that's what the internet was saying. That's mm. where it came from. Yeah. Yeah, but TJ Maxx women went crazy with it. I don't know. They're buying each other's shirts. I, I just, I my just bring person? you the answers my that person. you look for with an arrow. Yeah. Oh God. Um. But so. Clay and AD. Clay is this guy that in one of like his talks with AD, this girl, she's a bombshell. She's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pull she's that gorgeous. up for us, Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> Clay well, and AD. Miss is dead, Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and she, they're in this conversation one time. Clay's like, yeah, you know, like I'll, I'm probably going to cheat on you someday because. Okay. Because my dad cheated on my mom, and so it kind of just like oh, runs, in yeah. runs in the family. It runs in the family. Epigenetic cheating. Wait, Remember, so yeah. did, did did he? Uh, what did she say? To so that? they go to the okay, altar. Okay, they're both hot, by the way. Yeah, they're song. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Um, they go to the altar, and they're there. And as he, they're about to say "I do," he goes, "I'm not ready to say I do, but like we can work on this. We can work together on this." And she's just like so At the embarrassed altar? right that's yeah. insane wow. so she goes back to her dressing room is crying obviously mm. he goes and talks to his parents his mom's like what the fuck is wrong with you type <laughs> thing he then he goes in the dressing room and he goes to talk to her and he's like we can work this out like we can work and together she's like, no. and she's just, I, it was weird she didn't put a hard close she was i think she was in shock like genuinely but then it, there was this really nice conversation with his parents where the mom was talking to the dad because they're divorced now and she was like she was like you fucked up generationally and the dad immediately was like well my dad fucked up and she was like no 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 you've got to stop the generational trauma and she was like mm. kind of a badass about it anyway shout out rita she watches this for sure but What's she's up, rita she's up, dope. Rita, our girl. Keep it real, rita. yeah i like that you held that man accountable you know what Cutie? rita also watches? good job thank you topics articulate uh -huh. well thought out uh -huh. gold star 
Thank you. He has Austin, all you of Miami nothing. to talk about. Austin, you brought nothing. I brought no, my he, plane he, topic. And he has to talk <laughs> about the bathtub show. Okay. Uh, but you get a you get a half cool star. I like your topic. You know as well. you know what uh, Rita will you. see. They they always they they always uh, cutie. You deserve it. As they in always, straight men. They always treat you wonderfully. They treat me like shit. Yeah, they do. They treat me like shit on a consistent you basis. You treat them like shit too. I love him. No, cutie and I. Uh, you cutie are, treats me the best out of all of you. I don't. You're a treat fair you weather like fan. Shit. All of you, all <laughs> yes. of you, shit on me <laughs> yes, consistently. This Nobody is true. ever gives me any credit for anything if I, I work said hard. You looked great. We you know what? talk about your top show. All I will time. say. Guess what? I have a chip on my shoulder, mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna be sorry. I said you look. Wait, what are I you gonna do? A fucking. Don't say that. <laughs> not, not like I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> oh no. The, yeah. <laughs> the opening topic was about how he wants more of you. No, on the show. That's the opening true. topic. That was the first that's fifteen true. minutes. He was shitting on me. If I go on there, he's gonna shit on me about how he doesn't want. No, me. his yeah. opening fifteen minutes was. Please bring your beard. You look hot. Uh -oh. We want you to have your beard. Oh, yeah, and then it was. With you. We uh -oh. miss you in Austin. We wish you were here. Yeah, he didn't frame it like that. Uh it yeah. was more like you because it's a are lover. A because it's a lover's quarrel. <laughs> he said he that's what it. it is. What did he say? He said. I said the f word. He, he, <laughs> said, he said the f he, slur. We, we yeah, but it. we edited that out. He said to me, "What did he say? He said you're a pathological. You're what did he say? What so fraudulent, bitch. fraudulent bitch? Fraudulent bitch. Yeah, I didn't say but that's our term pleaser. on the show. Oh, right, right. right. completely. Yes, that you know what that that's what that's and you are a bit of a fraudulent bitch. Oh, okay. You're being oh. mean. Now say yeah. four nice things about him. No, he can't. He can't even I, think. I, of him. I did. I said that your outfit looks phenomenal today. Yeah, I think it's a little too beige. No, Ooh. I like it. He, when he said that, I defended that your outfit, funny. even though Come you're wearing on. Adidas <laughs> socks with uh, Converse shoes. But I like. I that. ran out of socks. Okay. Some Austin, you are naturally. You're Just beautiful and natural. A wellspring of talent. Uh, I, and having you on the show automatically increases its value no matter yeah. what. Thank you. How you've, much pain you've, did it you've take? Overcome, to you've <laughs> you've did overcome it great take? odds of your tumultuous childhood <laughs> growing up as someone with I had a great childhood severe, with great parents. Severe so, brain I'll problems. I'll be equal opportunity. Hassan, where's your topic this week? What do you mean? I literally had like eight topics lined up in the beginning. Including, including, Austin's but not limited beard to. beard is not a topic. Yes, it is. 100% is a topic. We, and also, I did the Nicole uh, and Peltz uh, situation as well. Oh, true. Yeah. Half gold star. See? Oh. I'm scared. Half gold me. star for that shitty topic. That was like d d the first. Yeah, he was just mad at Nepo babies. The which... first 45 <laughs> minutes was all bangers back to back. And the comments will reflect that reality. You know what, though? I do want to segue into something. Rita is a fan. Shouts out to my girl Rita. Wait, is she actually? She also, I don't think she so. also is a five dollar <laughs> month subscriber to oh, the Patreon, true. where she will enjoy more topics behind the paywall. If you want to join Rita and many other fans, go to patreon.com slash fear and and subscribe. We're doing more for the Patreon coming up soon. Uh well, no, you, I'm, but I'm doing I'm the doing. most he's doing for the Patreon is just saying he's doing stuff for the I Patreon. think we'll do. I think we're going to do an Austin appreciation video. Uh, Marsh, I, can we get just a a fail here? No, this is this is what I want. This fan is what cam, I want. Submit your fan, videos. Fan yeah. cam. Mm. Best fan cam. Let's do a cash prize. A hundred for bucks. Austin show appreciation. <laughs> well, I probably have to pay out the cash. No, yeah, I'll, you pay have to pay. I'll pay no, it out. I'll pay. No, Austin has to pay. <laughs> That's That's bullshit. Up. It'd be funnier if Austin has to pay because he doesn't want to do. Uh, I will pay for the best you. fan cam. Okay. I I want it to tweet be them at us. Sweet, mm. not sexy. Not se well. Okay. He also I'll take wow, Austin wants the sexy fan cams. It seems. Okay, we'll take a sexy fan. Cam. Oh, uh, thank you. All right, we'll, we'll and react to we'll, that up for us. We'll Billy. see you on the next one. All right. Okay, run let's, the clip. let's we'll, find the clip. We'll run the first. clip. Okay. Well, well, it's it's in Marsh. Oh, let me add some context. Okay. This particular guy. Uh, well, actually, let's play the clip. Sorry, I, I don't. Okay, know no better. context. No context. Just play the clip. Drag the puzzle piece. Okay, here we go. Play the clip. Play the clip. You will know immediately why. Habibi, Habibi. Yes. Is bringing this up. Turn up the volume here. How many views does it have? It has 230,000 likes. Yes, okay. 230,000. So, shitload of views, millions of views on he's TikTok. He's got neck tats. Yeah. Not really a big deal to me. We were flirting back and forth a little bit, but I didn't take anything serious. But I guess throughout our conversation, he had gathered enough information about me to book me a plane ticket without consulting me first. He said, oh, by the way, here's a plane ticket to come visit me for February. Boy, it's bold of you to assume I don't have anything to do. I don't. I'm probably going to go. 
It's first class, baby girl, to LA. So what the fuck? But I think it's crazy to just book a plane ticket without informing me, without letting me know. Oh, this guy never watched the video. notebook. And maybe he'll comment, comment. Okay. So the when entire... did you book him the flight? Okay, no, 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 no. The entire <laughs> comment section <laughs> is filled with people thinking that it was me. Not the search. And the this, search. Uh, and and the search thing so is Austin funny. Show. Okay, so first of all, I'm out. First of all, I don't know who this is. Second of all, is he, but I told you he's all. Hot. Well, you he's know what it, who it is now because you definitely looked him up. Well, he's hot. No, he's a good looking guy. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You, looked up you, you would love to fly him. <laughs> no, 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 no. So guys, now, come would, on. Look, you, he, he, he's a good looking guy. I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. You looked up his Instagram. I, I didn't look at. I, 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 okay, fine. I saw his Instagram. <laughs> right? He did it's, a mouth fart. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I saw his Instagram. But, but, but here's, the, here's the deal. No, 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 no. Here's the deal. What people need to understand. You'd fly right. him economy. Yes. Yeah. Thank you.